Science can be um, a, a sort of all-encompassing endeavor and we can spend all of our time dedicated to our science, but I find that it's so important to balance that with other interests. These other activities are sometimes the moments when we have the greatest scientific insight, a, a new idea, a creative solution to a problem. You need creativity to, th to come up with new concepts, new ideas, etc. And for this, you definitely need um, a proper non-academic um, life yeah? and hobbies and a family and friends and interactions. That can be extremely fruitful for a um, good life, but also for good science. We have the skeletal system here, yeah. I was advised you know, that, that having multiple children would detract from my scientific career, but I actually think that it has greatly benefited it. I study developmental neurobiology, and so, you know, having my most favorite neurodevelopmental biology projects at home, you know, was really inspiring, kind of watching the kids grow and develop. But, but I think more than that, my children are my main source of joy and happiness, and um, it balances everything that might happen in the laboratory or with my patients. Take a nice deep breath. To be a great scientist, you need to be mentally healthy, you need to be physically healthy, you should um, be aware of what's going on in the society. You should not uh, just live in your bunker, but really have your eyes open to what's going on around you. And this is what music, what art, family, yeah, I get uh, literature, etc., is doing. When I meet with young female trainees, I, I know the kind of messaging they're getting. And um, we often talk really openly about how important it is to kind of ignore that noise. If they feel that they can do it, then they should. Fantastic. I have four wonderful kids and a scientific career, and I was able to balance it. It wasn't easy, but it's absolutely possible. In academic institutions, we are still struggling with streamlining a certain career path that is not really including people um, and it's not really helpful. Or it's creating a situation where you will run into a burnout after 10, 20 or 30 years. I think it's on all of us to improve this. Think about great science, but also about a great scientist doing great science. You can do it all, but maybe not all at the same time. Life is long, your career will be long. There are years that a, a new, you make a new human and that is the main thing you do that year and other years when you publish a nature paper and it all evens out in the end. <laughs>